Okay, let's find a derivative and then evaluate that derivative at negative two. So for this example, we have a polynomial function, a quadratic, and we're gonna use the power rule as well as the constant rule for finding derivatives. So kind of one term at a time as we go through this, first we're gonna look at the four and say, as we take the derivative of a constant, that's gonna be zero. Next, I'm gonna look at the middle term, go ahead and think negative five X. I'm gonna bring the negative five along and then X is raised to the first power. So the power rule says that one comes down in front and then we're gonna reduce the exponent by one. So one minus one gives us zero for the exponent. Finally, we have this last term. We're gonna go ahead and bring along the plus six and then really focus on the X squared. So again, the power rule says the exponent comes down in front and becomes a multiple. And then we reduce the exponent by one. So two minus one is gonna give us a one for our new exponent on the X. Let's clean this up a little bit um, and give us the best answer possible. So the zero, I'm just gonna drop that. And then we have negative five times one is negative five. X to the zero power is the same thing as a one as well. So that's gonna be multiplied by the negative five. I don't need to write it next to it though. Moving on, we have plus six times two is gonna make 12 times X. And I don't need to write one up in the exponent, it's understood. Finally, we've taken the derivative. Now we need to evaluate n prime at negative two. So for doing this, what we wanna do is we wanna substitute a negative two in for our x. And then do our order of operations. So that's gonna be negative five. We're gonna multiply before we add. So 12 times negative two makes negative 24. And finally, we'll combine these like terms and we get negative 29. And there we have our derivative of this quadratic using the power rule. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck.